Well, now, uh, the newly inducted vice chancellor of the Dr. Hilaliman Technical University, Professor Elias Sole, is worried about the lack of halls of residence for students and staff of the university. He says this is adversely affecting teaching and learning in the school and wants government to come to their aid. Professor Sole uh, has been speaking at his investiture in WA. Correspondent Rafiq Salam reports. The ceremony at the Dr. Hilaliman Technical University was in twofold. First was the investiture of the first vice chancellor of the university, which was preceded by the graduation of 311 students. Professor Elias Nota Kurandeb Sole is taking over from Professor Emmanuel Mafo Wusu, whose reign was characterized by industrial unrest and protracted litigation between him, the governing council, and some labor unions of the university. Professor Sole, aware of the deep-seated rift that existed in the past, which halted academic activities, hope to move above them, mend fences, and prevent such occurrences in the future. Among the six things on his to-do list are promoting good governance, making himself available, and consulting all relevant bodies on issues of mutual interest. Minister the university in a transparent manner by establishing the structures prescribed by law in the status of the university, backed by the relevant policies, which must also be developed. I will make myself accessible to all relevant, to all stakeholders and consult them on issues of mutual interests. Wanting warning for authorities and students of this university has to do with hostel facilities for the university. Since its establishment, they have not got any hostel facility of their own. As a result, students commute from their homes or private hostels to the university. The new vice chancellor therefore saw it as a necessity and appealed to the government and other benevolent organizations to come to their aid. For the hostel project in particular, we want to say that it's a major challenge facing us as a university and uh, it's really creating a lot of inconvenience for our students who have to commit from various places in the municipality to the campus and back. The student also has a three-story facility that can accommodate about 800 students and 30 teaching assistants. This project was first awarded in 2008 and was terminated in 2020 at 30% completion. The project was re-awarded in June 2013, but the contractor did not mobilize the site, and the contract was subsequently terminated. Mr. Chairman, we want to once again appeal that everything should be done to help us complete this hostel. Upper West Regional Minister Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali noted that government is not oblivious of the challenges faced by technical universities in the country, and for that matter, the Dr. Hilary Mann Technical University. He, however, assured them of the commitment of the government to fixing the challenges. We are aware of the serious infrastructural deficit, including student hotels, faculty buildings, auditoriums, lecture halls, and laboratories, just to mention a few. I assure you of the government's commitment and continued support to this technical university and all other universities in the country. Chairman of the Governing Council, Chief Suleiman Anabela admonished the graduates to go into the world and impact positively on their immediate and wider communities. Government has spent a lot of the taxpayers' money to bring you to this farm. You to bring you this farm. And please do not let this investment go in vain. I have no doubt you have been equipped with the desired knowledge and skills to go out there and impact positively on your immediate and wider communities. Be good ambassadors of the university and lead very exemplary lives wherever you find yourselves. In all